Hello, welcome back to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco, of course, and we are going back into the seventh continent. And it's really empty out here on the board, on the map, because we just got out from that uh, dungeon that we were in. So we're back into the jungle. I uh, <laughs> don't know what, what to do, really. We're really running low. I mean, we, we could end the, the game at any point. Uh, that's how it is. And um, yeah. I guess we just try to go somewhere, try to find some... Well, if we could hunt, that would be nice. Uh, or fish. And I don't really recall, I mean, these look pretty much the same, so I'm not really sure where we are. Um, if we've been here before, but I think so. So, uh, yeah, we should put out, I haven't done that, we should put out these uh, cards here as well, of course. So we have like a number three back here again, so we have a number three. I'm there, and oops, shouldn't have seen that, so let's shuffle that, and we can go down here. Now I think we're just outside, if I recall correctly, we are just outside the the entrance to the dungeon. Uh, but I don't see any point in going there again, because I think we've been through everything down there. So I think we should instead go out here, try to find somewhere to hunt or fish, and see if we can survive. So let's try and head west here, see where we are. So. Um, We'll do this. Uh, dead end. Uh, no matter which path you take, you're invariably stopped by the thick and impassable vegetation of the jungle. You can do a compass action to try to get a around that. We don't really have anything that will help us with the compass though. I think we will wait a bit with that. Um, yeah, but now we have bamboo uh, here. But we don't have anything that needs bamboo to be built. Okay. Let's uh, check out the north then. So, pit trap. Uh, the ground suddenly collapses under your feet. I think we've done this before. The hole you fall into is not very deep. It's full of sharp pointed bamboo canes that gash your skin in many places. Uh, we can discard two cards with key keyword vigilance to skip this. That would be nice. Um, do we have vigilance? No, we don't. We only have one and that is the uh, magnifying glass. Okay, so then we have to take a 105 card. So we are bloody once again. We're already bloody, but we'll just put this back then. Um, we need to swim basically to get rid of that. Maybe that's the thing we should be doing. Get off the, uh, this island, see if we can go somewhere else. Okay, then we have to do a climbing action to get out of here. Um, there's two successes, uh, three successes, two cards. The only thing we have that can help us with climbing is the rope down here in this item. But that's, if we do that, that's the, but I think we should do it because, yeah. Whereas we, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're not gonna find any altar right now anyhow, I think. So uh, let's use the rope so we get um, one success and seven counts as, as successes. Uh, so let's draw two cards then. Okay, so we're still alive. So that's two, two, yeah. So we have three successes in total. So we did this, we get some experience for that. Uh, let's see, experience, zero, zero, three. Another one, we have a bunch now. So if we find somewhere to level up, that would be nice. Or we can use 10 experience to get rid of our wooden leg. I don't know if that's anything we want to do, but. So let's see, these items are used. They go back there, and now we get to keep one of these. And I want the walking stick for sure, because that would help us a lot. So we have that. Uh, we have to discard a card though, in that case. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the basket then. It, it was a nice idea, but I, I rather have the uh, uh, walking stick that can really help us out. Uh, to, yeah, that's awesome actually. So here we go, some shuffling. And then we put our 264 up here. And now I think I know where we are. Because I remember 264 for some reason. Um, you are arrived near the border of a forest where you can hear all manner of insects and animal sounds. 
Yeah, I think the hunting rounds is over there, so there sort of. But remember, that's the golden hunting rounds now, so it's not going to be easy for us anyhow. Okay, should we move in here? I think we will. Um, yeah. I mean, if we go here, we can make the walking stick for free here. So let's do two cards. Just hope that we don't... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to do these first. Let's hope that we don't just suddenly uh, end the game. That would be so sad. I want to keep playing. Here we go. And we're still alive. <laughs> so we walked in here. And then... We want to keep this for sure. Two, two successes. Uh, then we have to get rid of one. Uh, let's get rid of the learn by doing. And now that we're here, now I think it's time to make a fire so we can move back here easily. Um, I don't know. Should do. We I mean, should make a fire on a car that only takes one to move away from. But let's make the walking stick because that's free. We have wood there, so this is a wheel card. We will do a new item then because it doesn't really fit anything. So that's four uses usage. That's really nice. Be able to move around. Uh, so we have wooden leg and we have the stick. <laughs> and let's uh, pot find over here then. So let's go this way, I think. Because, uh, yeah. Or should we go? Uh, should we go over there? Oh, it's kind of hard. Uh, no, let's go this way first. Oh, ripe fruit. Oh, we found some food. You have picked some edible looking fruit. You can only hope that it's safe to eat. Yeah, maybe this is not safe to eat, but... We're gonna eat it right away. <laughs> we are so desperate for for uh, cards now. These go back in here, of course. So randomly take five cards from the discard pile, shuffle them back in. So now we have an action deck of five cards. Like that. And this becomes the discard pile again, which is nice. Um, so we ate that. Let's see, we weren't hungry or anything. Um, and now we have to take a one, three, four card. So I guess that, I don't remember, I think we've done this before. Uh, it, the series is running so uh, long now that I can't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. agonizing cramps are actually stomach. We become nauseated, yeah. yeah. No symbol there though, so that's good. And we could uh, make a toilet stop, I guess, at some point, perhaps. Uh, but I mean, looking over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six red hands. So, <laughs> so that's not good. This got this. Okay. And we put out 271 there. Let's see if we recognize where we are. Uh, towards the east, the ground slope, gently into our sandy. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this. We're back here. So basically, we went in somewhere down here. We went into the uh, catacombs thing, and then we came up here again. And that's a eight card. Um, so what to do then? I'm not sure. Um, what to do? Because if we head down here, it's all stone and it's really expensive to move. And we get, we could go down here, climb down and then s swim away from the island. But I mean, just, yeah. No, I think we'll head uh, west instead then. I think that's better. So let's check out this here. Scratch, blasted thorn bush. A long thorn has gashed the back of your hand. It looked like a harmless scratch, but these thorn might be poisonous and infection is always a concern. Uh, so we have to do a healing action. We need one success. Uh, let's draw one card. And we got a success and that's to remember. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we did that and we take a 100 card. Everything will be all right. Okay. 100? Uh, that's a while ago. Oh, paranoid. Yeah, yeah. But since there's no symbol there, we don't keep the paranoid because it uh, doesn't matter. Okay, well basically we keep it, but we'll get rid of it right away because there's no one else here, so uh, 220 now So 
Because I know that we didn't go all the way to the west last time, so... Pool of water seems to have collected underneath one of the large trees to the north. It might be a prime water source for the local fauna. This is where we can hunt. Um, but the question is, I mean, I think if we hunt here, we're going to get that uh, golden card. And that's really hard to make. And we don't have anything, we don't have any item that can help us hunt right now, so. So I don't think that's worth it. I think we'll just waste uh, time. I think it's better to try and move on, find some other hunting ground or fishing spot. So let's use the uh, walking stick then to move. So that's minus two cards, so we can move over there for free. And I don't think we want to go south because here's the camp, here's the entrance to the dungeon, yeah. So let's go here, let's check this out. Uh, scavengers. Large birds circle in the sky. Your experience, your experience helps you recognize them as distinct species of vulture. You can go see what has gotten their attention or ignore them and continue your journey. You know, this is where we could find food, I think. I think so. So let's do this uh, tracking action. One card, uh, see do we have anything that helps us with that? I don't think so. So one card and then, uh, oh that's nice. Oh, I want to draw this one, I need three successes but... But still that's awesome to have one success there. Mm, you know, I don't know if we're gonna make fire now. So let's get rid of the rudimentary flint. We have the remember card as well, so we could uh, use that to... Um, if we need a certain card. And then we draw 265. Let's hope there's some food here then. That the vultures have spotted. The wind rustles the leaves of a tall tree and, and a hanged body swings underneath. Stepping closer to the corpse, you recognize with horror that it is your old companion and friend Michael Dross, a distinguished ethnologist who was on the first expedition to the continent. How in the world did he end up here? It looks like desperation got the better of him. Oh no. Seeing your friend hang disturbs you deeply. After getting him down, you decide to search his body and you find a crumbled piece of paper in the pocket of his jacket. Immediately after this is revealed, take a 274 card from the adventure deck, okay? So it wasn't food. It was our old colleague. That's disturbing. Uh, 274. The parchment you are holding seems to be recount a key moment of the history of the continent. Oh, look at this, History of the Continent, three or four. So now we have three out of four. And we can start piecing these together. Uh, not really sure what that does, but... Two, three, yeah. So this is like this. Um, the Story of the Continent. Oh, there's the uh, altar, uh, the sort of uh, stone statue thing that we saw earlier. Huh. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm not sure what to do with it, but it's cool anyhow. And it might be for another curse. It might be another scenario where you need to find all of these four or something. Okay, the active player must either discard one keyword, uh, one card with the keyword Serenity from their hand or inventory or take a 103 card. We don't have Serenity, right? We had it earlier, but no. So now we have to take a 103 card. Um, the heart jumps, yeah, we're frightened. No symbol though, so that's good. We were already frightened, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, and then we have to do either a digging action to bury him, or we can ignore it. We abandon the corpse to the scavenger. That just feels wrong. The problem is, to bury him, we need four cards. Wow, that's a lot. But that's a digging action, and we don't have the shovel anymore. Um, you know what, I think we'll use this one. That's minus two cards. You only have to use two cards then. Oh, another remember. I'll take that for sure. And now we bury him, we take a 296 and banish this. This goes away as well, of course. So 296, go, 
Well, you go on your way with the feeling of accomplishment. Banish this. <laughs> you didn't get anything. Oh, I've never seen that before. That was weird. It was just like, I guess, it just feels good that we buried him right. And then we get two or three out here. Um, so, that was just sad. Um, we need some good news. To the west, a rundown bridge spans a precipice. Below, you can hear the sound of a rushing river. Oh, here we haven't been uh, before. So, we have a river here. And two threes. Like, no, three threes. There's one more to the top there. A lot of options here on where to go next. Um, I think we should do, I think we should do some remembering. So let's remember something. And what do we need? Well, basically, looking at our items, I would like to get, I'm thinking we should be hunting it soon, right? If we can, so a hunting card and best would be if it has aggressiveness. Um, I don't know what, I think the bow had will, if I don't mistaken. Um, or we could actually, yeah, you know what, let's take the restful sleep. We need cards desperately. So we use the remember to pick up this one. Um, this is a free action as well. We need, well, we're not free. We need two successes. So let's use no card to do this. Um, and spend this card. So we get two successes. But we have to draw a tired card. Because we exhaust ourselves. But it doesn't have the symbol. So good for that. And now we're tired. I don't think it's like a loop. We don't get rid of the, that tired here. Or actually we might. Let's see which order things happen once again. So we determine the cost uh, during the result step. Uh, we used card, this card, and then, no, 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 then we have the con consequence last. So basically, we got that for free then. Because the, the last thing that happens is the consequence, which is to discard the tired. Yeah. So that's nice. That's a bit of a loop, but. And that lets us take uh, five, five cards back from this card pile. That's awesome. Let's shuffle this up a bit. Three, four, five. And then a restful sleep goes here as well, of course. And we have a little bit of life or energy there. <laughs> okay, let's use the um, let's use the walking stick to move. And uh, that's minus two, so we can move over here. And now let's see, I think we go west. I'm gonna check out this bridge thing, so. Shortcut. Uh, tangled wall of vegetation conceals a hidden path that winds away among gnarled trees and thorny bushes. Oh, this is nice. So like, we can discard this or we can discard it by once moving for minus two here. Hmm, I think we should use it that then. That's a nice way to move. I think down here is the camp. We're not gonna restore that again and so on. Let's check this out then. Forest fire. The forest is burning ahead of you. If you want to continue this way, you have to cope with the thick smoke and rising flames. Uh... Oh, it's like we have a fire here. <laughs> That's cool, we could cook some meat here. <laughs> That's kinda cool. I don't wanna do that. Um... Uh... Well, we can always pathfind here. Check it out. Could be something good. No, it's a threat. Ah, it's a th trip cord. We have to do this. Yeah. Wow, that was bad. Um. So I guess we do. Yeah, we do this. So uh, it's a compass action. We need two successes. So let's draw two cards, I guess. We got the two successes. We keep this for sure. That's great. And we avoided that. And then we get to see what's over there. So it's 161. Um, uh, the vegetation, those did. Yeah, this is the camp. Yeah, so there's the camp again. 
Now we could go there and, and but it, if, if I remember right, it took 10 cards or something to restore the camp. So we're not gonna do that. It would be nice though, because then we could have uh, leveled up with all this and do the rest thing there, but. Uh, no, I think we'll just discard this. Uh, we'll discard this and we put out the bridge here. So the 304. Um, okay. An old bridge spans a 30 foot deep gorge at the bottom of which a wild river rages. Yeah, it's one of these things. I, I was thinking about this when it was a bridge. I was thinking I didn't want to make a fire here until I'd seen this. Because now we can't move back and forth anyhow. Uh, here's we have, here we have to do a balance action. Uh, one card plus and three successes. Um, yeah. Uh, if we fail, we pretty much fall down, I think. Uh, so we need to keep our balance here. I think we do that right. Uh, I don't see any reason not to. I will push these things a little bit over here though, because we are moving to the west. So uh, it's kind of nice that you can just reorganize this because I like to keep it in the mat uh, and also for the camera, of course, it needs, it needs to be in certain areas. So we can see the river running here, we're going over the bridge like this. Okay, so we try to go over here. Um, balance action, we don't have anything with uh, helping us out that. But uh, one card, three successes. We have two successes laying here, just in case. But we don't want to fall down the bridge. You know what, before we do this, I'll do the remember. I think this is smart and we find the uh, wherever it is the uh, double success thing right um, or we could find something that helps us balance but I don't think we have anything like that uh, I don't think I've seen that there it is okay so we remember we pick up the double success card and that means that we don't have to draw any cards. We just use these three for three successes. We save cards that way. We do have to take a tired card though, but that's the only downside. So we take one of those and it doesn't have the symbol. That's good. So now we're just tired and we're up to seven different states, <laughs> which is terrible. Uh, but we got through the bridge. So we go to uh, I don't know. What do we go to? What is this? 203. Okay, so we go to 262 then, okay. So 262. Uh, we're on the other side of the bridge. To the east, a rundown bridge spans. Yeah, yeah, we've just been there. Uh, below you can hear, okay. Oh, this is a new terrain, basically. It's uh, the desert. So, and then you, and now we're going for sixes in the exploration card. Okay. But I like it, I must say, because uh, we need to get somewhere else. We can't keep going around this jungle forever. Uh, we need to find that altar thing. So we're over here. Um, okay. And we can do a prayer action here. Hmm. Let's do it, uh, let's use, no, let's not use, let's have, okay, so we'll just draw one card. Yeah, we got a success. I think, uh, let's keep that. And now uh, we do 0 91. Let's see whatever it is happening here. Uh, like a prayer thingy or something. Someone was buried here. At least their companions took the time to arrange a final resting place. Frustration rises inside you as you think back on how many explorers died well before their time. Oh yeah, it's one of these. Take a 666 card and after resolving it, okay. Take a 666 card. I think that is sort of to determine if there's any ghost here. A wheel of fog mysteriously forms around the grave. Luckily, the wheel quickly vanishes. Your instincts tells you that you have been lucky this time, okay. Then each and all character may choose a card with the keyword will or aggressiveness in the action deck or discord pile added to your hand. Okay. Well, we'll find some in the uh, discord pile, of course. Then. Uh, and I think I'll keep doing my thing here. This is will, 
So let's let's take this one. I love I love having those successes there. Okay, so we did that. Um, and I think we can do it more than once, basically. But let's check this out. Let's uh, go south here, and we have a shelter. Oh, a cavity was dug into the uh, rock about six feet above the ground and looks deep enough for an adult to lie down. The active player may get involved. Oh, here we can level up. Nice. Nice. That is awesome. Okay, let's do that then. So, uh, it's yeah, zero cards, two successes. Let's use this again then, because we will get tired, but we will do a rest action, so we'll get rid of this. Um, so we have to take one just to see. Oh, there's the symbol. Now, if we don't stop this, this would mean that we would get one, two, three, seven cards discarded. But luckily, we can discard because we're Dimitri. We can discard an aggressiveness card to stop that from happening. <laughs> so that's good. And then we just put these back because we will rest now and we will get rid of the tired state. And now we will level up. So uh, once again, we take four of these uh, advanced skill cards. And we get to purchase uh, some. Well, that's great because we can put them right into our hand or to the action deck. So three, four. There we go. And this is, um, this could be really good. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Stealth. Well, lucky, you may discard this at any time to apply the following effect. Prevent getting injured, okay? It's really expensive though. What do we have? We have, we have five, yeah. And we get discount on will cards. Improved camp. The following effect applies as long as you have this in hand and you have the fire resource. Then it's easier to heal and craft things. That's kind of cool. Control your fate. You may discard this during the death. We may get the seven. Oh, here's an antidote. Um, oh, then we can get rid of poison. That's kind of cool. But we want to be poison, remember, because we're glowing. So we don't want to get rid of this right now. The three, five. I think we'll purchase this one. Well, the wheel we do, we do have, yeah. No, let's get this one, the improved camp. That's cool. So that costs four, so we'll put back four experience points. I think that's a good one. And uh, if we just make a fire, then it's easier to craft things and heal. So yeah, that could come in handy for sure. We'll take it to our hand. And then we use this, uh, oh, we don't have this, we can have it here. Keep doing it, I guess, but yeah, let's discard this. We go on our way. So 281. Uh, the wind whistles into a pit that was dug in the middle of a rocky plain. Oh, there's some stuff here. I almost forgot, I've been forgetting to check these cards for numbers. Actually, so let's see. Is there a number somewhere? Well, it's one of those stone thingies again. We had on another spot where we got the seagulls helping us out. I see some footprints going into the bush there. I don't see any number though. Uh, no. Tell me in the comments if I'm missing something. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Um, so let's follow the river this way again, basically, and we need more of these level six exploration cards. And there's not that many of those. Um, so one here, one here. And I guess we go down here and examine this thingy here. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, one card to move. Oh, another remember. <laughs> nice. Keep that. Go down here. Mm. And this card takes three cards to move away from. Oh. I would like to make a fire, but I don't have any options to do that right now. Let's examine this thing here. Uh, the Whatever it is, the circle thing there. That's one card, no successes. Uh, the bolas once again. Okay. We'll keep those. 
and it's 192. Let's see what that is. I might be exploring everything too much, I don't know. Uh, what you have initially thought to be just a pit is in fact a necropolis with many graves dug into its walls. Strange symbols carved into one of the tombs catch your eye. You are not quite sure what they mean. Could it be a rudimentary language, a secret code? We can decipher here to take a card whose number corresponds to these symbols from the adventure deck. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> so we have to guess what card it is based on the... Okay, you know what? We're going to stop right here. I'm going to try to figure this out somehow. <laughs> Uh, we'll continue here in the next episode before we venture more into the desert. If we survive, we'll see. We're still alive. We're still alive, though. I'm a bit surprised, to be honest. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of The Seven Continent. We'll be back soon with another one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, morning, or whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye-bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.